Today at LCR, we'll review a square. I mean, a box. I mean, it's red, and it's four-wheel drive. I'm talking, of course, about the Jeep rectangle. I mean, Cherokee. Let's be real, is there anything more square and cool looking than the iconic Cherokee XJ? The one we're reviewing is a 2001 Limited with only 94,000 miles. Starting production all the way back in 1984, 17 years later, the 2001 model year was the last year that these square off-road icons rolled off Jeep's assembly lines. So, what does the limited trim add to what was intended to be a Spartan SUV meant to be driven in the mud? On the outside, its iconic 7-slot grille is body-colored, just like the other trim on the Jeep. The body-colored bumpers, skid bars, and even mud flaps give this limited a sporty look. The Limited furthermore came with fog lamps and 16-inch alloy wheels. Door handles have a sporty black finish matching the black roof rack. That rack expands the already large amount of utility of the Jeep. The rails can be moved and adjusted by simply pushing the button and sliding the attachment back or forth. On the inside, this Cherokee has camel cloth seats which look much nicer than the standard gray most of them came with. Plus, for the Limited, they were equipped with adjustable headrests. As you'd expect, the back seats fold down to create a 69 cubic feet cargo space. To get maximum cargo space, you simply lift up the seat bottom. There, by the way, is your premium Infinity sound system amplifier for the Infinity system. And uh, uh, here is your jack instructions, lol. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so if you want to maximum your load capacity, here you go. You just simply fold this down and look at that. You can load a, a small fridge in here. Pretty practical. One thing we didn't like is a full-size spare tire taking up a lot of cargo space. Why not hang it on the rear liftgate like Jeep's always done on the Wrangler? That Infinity amp that you saw underneath the rear bench was another option that came with a limited trim. It drives six speakers playing AM, FM radio, cassette, or CD through the Infinity head unit. Time to play some smooth jazz while climbing that Moab trail. And the limited gives you a full gauge cluster to see what's going on under the hood. Options we liked in particular are the adjustable seats and steering wheel, although the Cherokee provides surprisingly little legroom for what is still a quite sizable SUV. This is really all the way it goes? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, doesn't have too much room, at least not for me. The same goes for the back, where you may be able to fit a refrigerator, but not a presenter for LCR. Talking about refrigerators, this thing has nice ice-cold AC. Too bad the climate control is not automatic, but I guess you'll need to keep doing some manual labor in a Jeep. Further luxuries include keyless entries via a remote key fob, sun visors with vanity mirrors, and leather-wrapped steering wheel. This is how I drive regularly. It's <laughs> <Some> two wheels. <laughs> The center console features a storage space underneath the armrest, two decent-sized cup holders with small removable storage box, and an ashtray. Power options include power-adjustable mirrors and power windows. Now, that's nice and all, but the most important question for every Jeep is, what are its off-road capabilities? This 2001 Jeep Cherokee is powered by the Powertech 4-liter inline-6 engine, which was still developed by AMC before Chrysler bought them out. That engine makes 193 horsepower and 225 pound-feet of torque and is paired to a 4-speed automatic transmission with an average fuel economy of 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway. The Jeep weighs in at 3,194 pounds. Four-wheel drive on the Cherokee was optional and this one is equipped with the Select Track system which adds full-time four-wheel drive mode in addition to the Command Track's part-time four-wheel drive mode. The four-wheel drive system makes the Cherokee an incredibly capable off-roader. Standard ground clearance is 8.1 inches, which is about 3 inches more than your average sedan. It also has a solid front axle and front coil springs, which are must-haves for avid off-roaders. This particular Jeep is also equipped with the Upcountry Suspension Group, which adds tow hooks, skid blades, a track lock rear differential, full-size matching spare, and an auxiliary transmission oil cooler. And also handy, the rear liftgate has a wiper to wipe the mud off the rear window. The four-wheel drive system is quite heavy to shift, but then again, Jeeps are only driven by super strong people. 
Other than that, this Cherokee drives smoothly on the road. Steering and throttle are responsive, and if you're tired of the smooth ride, it can take you practically everywhere with a four-wheel drive system. And look at the construction of this thing. It has steel bumpers. Even the sides are protected by these steel skid rails against unforeseen objects. But it's better to just not crash into things in the first place. Overall, this classic Jeep Cherokee has a smooth enough ride to be a comfortable road cruiser, but didn't become a pavement princess like its modern incarnation. It's a fun mix between off-road utility and comfortable daily driving. And that's reflected in the fact that they've been steadily going up in value in recent years. We love to hear from you in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. There's a lot more cool cars and trucks coming up in this channel. See you next time!